In this video, I'll be covering the new R series of speakers from our friends over at KEF called the R Meta series. Now, the audio device team visited the KEF USA facility back in 2022, and we were all very impressed with KEF's dedication to pushing the state of the art of sound to its limits. Now, KEF, like a handful of other great speaker companies, will spend a lot of time and effort on R&D for a flagship speaker, and then take what they've learned and put it into more affordable products. Now, this is exactly the case with the new R series, which benefits from many concepts that they've developed from the top of the line Blade model. With a five year span since the release of the original R series, KEF has continued to push the envelope, and it looks like these new R meta are gonna be a big jump up over the original R series. The new R Meta models consists of three tower speakers, one bookshelf speaker, and two center channels that can both serve as LCRs and a cool new multi-purpose speaker for Dolby Atmos effects. Now, if you're brand new to KEF, you may not be aware of their famous UniQ design. Many people believe the perfect speaker would be a sphere that radiated sound from its entire surface. Now, in 1988, KEF invented the UniQ, which comes very close to this dream design with the tweeter sitting right inside the mid-range driver, perfectly time-aligned. This creates a much wider listening field and a flatter frequency response. Their UniQ design has won countless awards and is now in its 12th revision. We had the unique opportunity to speak with one of the CAF engineers to get the inside scoop on everything that is new with the R series. Now, they were also so enthusiastic about their technology, we learned some things that we didn't actually even know before that carry over from the previous R series that are also pretty cool too. I'll go over the tech shared by all of these models and then get into each individual speaker to help you decide which ones would best fit your needs. Now, there's gonna be a lot to go over here, so if you wanna jump ahead to the section on the actual new speakers, we'll have it marked, but I think you will enjoy learning about Kef's speaker technology if you are an audio geek like we are here at Audio Advice. And speaking of audio geeks, one of the biggest reasons besides our free shipping, price guarantee, and lifetime support to buy your speakers from Audio Advice is the fact that our entire team is really, really into audio. If you purchase your speakers from Audio Advice, we're happy to spend time with you and help you get the best placement and really dial in your sound. Now that can make a world of difference in the end result, and we love making people have their systems sound better than they could have ever imagined. The big deal for the new R series is a completely redone UniQ driver. Many of the upgrades done for this driver filtered down from the much more expensive reference series. Now we just love it when companies take things that they learn in a higher end product and figure out a way to get a part of that great new tech into more affordable models. Now KEF first introduced Meta Material Absorption Technology, or MAT for short, in 2020 with the LS50 and then added it to the blade and reference model shortly after. Now, matte material is designed to reduce 99% of unwanted sound that comes from the rear of the tweeter. The result is a tweeter that measures flatter and has a more natural and pure sound quality. The new R models get that new matte material, and you may think that is all that Kef did since they're calling these a new R Meta series. Nothing could be further from the truth as the entire UniQ driver is upgraded in several different areas. Now, a piece of this matte material looks somewhat like a maze, and each series UniQ driver will get a slightly different version of that matte material. But to deploy matte, Kef needed to completely redesign the driver to get the most out of the matte material. First comes the waveguide that is behind the tweeter, which you can see in this shot is fairly large and tapered. Now, this one is actually two and a half times bigger than the older R model. The idea is to focus the energy wave coming from the rear of the tweeter into the matte material where it will be absorbed. Now, another great upgrade is related to the tweeter gap area. With the UniQ driver having the tweeter sitting inside the mid-range driver, there needs to be a small gap as those two can't actually touch each other. Now, in a testament to Kev's drive for improvement, they worked on different designs to reduce any resonances that they might occur within this gap they wound up actually making the gap slightly wider and putting foam damping on the underside in two different places, which greatly reduced resonance, giving an even clearer mid-range. In the UniQ driver for the reference models, Kef added a copper ring in the mid-range motor assembly to minimize inductance. This neat trick reduces total harmonic distortion and improves the efficiency of the driver. Now, the R Meta models also get this new tech. Finally, and this one I thought was just really cool, is that Kef decouples the mid-range chassis. This also comes from the new reference models. 
The mid-range basket has four bolts that mount it to the motor. At each mounting point, the basket has what looks like a wave with the bolt in front of a convex shape with a concave shape on the either side. This focuses the energy into damping material to reduce resonances with the listening result being a clearer mid-range. That is just taking things to the nth degree, which is just too cool. The other big upgrade in the R meta models is the completely new crossover. The engineers at KEF apparently spent hundreds of hours both testing and listening to the new types of crossover components to decide on the combination that both measured and sounded the very best. Now they had at their disposal new modeling tools that allowed them a lot more flexibility in design, but they still trusted their ears for that final product. The tweeter bypass capacitor even uses a very expensive British brand called Clarity Cap. Now, no one will ever see these, but the fact that they include more expensive parts to get better sound speaks to a lot about how serious Kef is and making these speakers sound just the best that they very can. The bass drivers and cabinets are the same as the original R series, but it's worth pointing out some things about them. The R Meta uses slightly different sized woofers based on the model, but they are all small and made of a hybrid aluminum and paper material. This design is self dampening with no resonances until you get well above the point where they cross over to the mid range. CAF uses multiple small woofers in the tower speakers to give you super fast bass with a similar surface area to one larger woofer. Now, one thing that we really thought was interesting is how CAF goes about bracing the cabinets. As you can see from this cutaway, the inside of the cabinet is very impressive with the UniQ having its own enclosure and each of the woofer pairs sharing identical sized enclosures. Now, any speaker designer will tell you that a box with no bracing is just going to resonate like crazy. Internal bracing is now used by any good speaker maker, but Kef takes it one step further. They found that bracing alone just changes the resonance point to a higher frequency. They do something I've never seen, which is to use constrained layer damping at the points where the brace touches the cabinet. They design the brace's structure in such a way that it pushes its resonance up to the point where the damping material completely absorbs the resonant frequency. Then there's the flexible port technology, which is also really unique. As you may know, the port is the part that lets the air exit the speaker cabinet. Kev found at higher volumes, the port can actually add a resonance of its own. They found a material that actually changes the shape slightly as the pressure builds, which eliminates any resonance. Just how cool is that? And one final point that is great about the Kef R Meta series is the fact that they are all perfectly matched sonically and also match up with an entire range of architectural speakers that use the UEQ driver. This gives you a lot of choices when putting together a complete Kef home theater system. All right, that covers the tech and all of the great new R Meta series speakers that they share. Now let's take a look at each model. First up is the single bookshelf speaker, the R3 Meta that I have right here. I would consider this a pretty large bookshelf speaker that most people will likely wind up putting on a speaker stand. Kef even has a speaker stand designed specifically for the R3 Meta, which integrated cable management. The reason I say you'll probably stand mount them is that they're 17 inches tall, 13 inches wide, and almost 8 inches deep, plus the port is rear firing. This three-way design uses the UniQ driver I talked about with a 6.5 inch version of the hybrid aluminum paper cone woofer. With their larger cabinet size, bass response is pretty impressive with Kef, saying that in an average size listening room, the in-room response should reach down to about 30 Hz. One of my favorite speakers in the Kef Meta reference line is their bookshelf model, and I must say, while the R3 Meta does not have the mid-range resolution of the much more expensive reference model, it is just flat out amazing how good that these guys actually sound. Now you will need a decent amplifier to get the best out of them as they're not super sensitive at 87 dB, but when you pair these with an amp or home theater receiver that can provide good current, they are super impressive as bookshelf speakers. Now I see these being used as a primary speaker on stands or as surround or rear channels as well. Like all of the models in the new R Meta series, they come in black gloss, white gloss, or walnut, and the R3 Meta is supposed to have a special edition gloss indigo finish. The matching stand comes in slate gray, mineral white, and matte indigo. All right, let's move over to the tower speakers. There are three of them in the new line, the R11 Meta, the R7 Meta, and the R5 Meta. The choice between these three are going to depend on the size of your room and your budget. What is great about all three is that the mid-range and treble sounds virtually identical on all three of them, but there are some big differences in the bottom end output. 
The R5 Meta is a three-way design with two five and a quarter inch hybrid aluminum cone low frequency drivers. This 54 pound speaker has a very slim front profile being just under seven inches wide, about 40 inches tall and 13 and a half inches deep. Now I like the outrigger feet that come on all three of these towers which provide a high degree of stability. They come with spikes for carpet or if you have hard surface floors, a flat pad the spike sits in. The R5 Meta is also the easiest speaker to set up in the tower series. With the smaller woofers and somewhat limited bottom end, it won't interact much with the walls around it, giving you flexibility to put it closer to a rear wall. Now, if you're plugging them into a room larger than around about 12 feet by 15 feet, I would recommend adding a subwoofer to them. The R7 Meta is probably right in the sweet spot for these tower speakers. The dual 6.5 inch hybrid aluminum cone woofers give it much more authority. These are a little harder to place than the R5 Meta as you're going to need to place them about 20 inches off the rear wall or sidewalls, but if you take your time to dial them in, you'll be super happy with the results. They work well in family rooms and some larger rooms. The R11 Meta at a whopping 80 pounds that I have right behind me are beasts. The four six and a half inch woofers give it much more bottom end, but it does come at a price needing to carefully set these up. They will interact with the room a lot more than the R7 Meta, meaning you're gonna need some space around them if you really wanna hear what they're capable of. I see these being used in a large family room or bonus room. You would certainly not wanna try to place them in a 10 by 12 foot office as they're just gonna completely overpower that room. One of the first speakers in the line that we got to check out was the R11 right behind me. The first cut we tried from Crosby and Nash is one that we use a lot called Lay Me Down. When the system is right, this track has a huge sound stage with a liquid mid-range. The R11 just absolutely blew us away with the sound of the sound stage, the dynamics that it could portray, and just how neutral and revealing that they were. After hearing these, we felt like they should call them the new line of reference light speakers. They were just that good. For 2023, Kef finally adds a bigger center channel model to the R Meta series, which I see as a very nice addition. The two LCR models are R2 Meta and R6 Meta, and yes, you did hear that right, these are LCR capable, which means that you can use these vertically as left and right channels as well, or even put three in the vertical plan behind an acoustically transparent screen that would not be mounted to the wall. You might see a lot of speakers that call themselves LCRs that have a tweeter centered between two mid bass drivers. The problem with that design is that you get a lot of what is called lobing due to the fact that the bigger drivers need to be crossed over higher since the tweeter can only go so low. Now you can fix this with what is called a Diapolito array where you have a woofer, mid-range, tweeter, mid-range, woofer, but when you do that, you have limited horizontal dispersion. What's cool is the UniQ solves all of this due to its very unique design and in my opinion is the best application of this type of LCR speaker out there. This concept also applies to all the towers in the Kef R Meta series as well. They are both also a sealed box which gives you even more placement options. I could see these going into a built-in cabinet system with a flat panel TV and a pair of these on either side vertically with another serving as the center channel above or below the TV. With no rear firing port like a lot of bookshelf speakers, you don't have to worry about having the port too close to that back wall. Now, like any speaker, they will sound better outside of a built-in unit, but with the way Kef designs and makes these cabinets so anti-resonant, they make a great choice if your environment dictates the kind of placement which actually is very common in traditional family rooms. As you might have guessed, the R2 Meta has the same UniQ driver paired with the two five and a quarter inch hybrid aluminum woofers and the R6 Meta gets two six and a half inch hybrid aluminum woofers. If you have the space and the budget, we would definitely recommend going with the larger model for its higher output and deeper bottom and reach, especially if you're more of an action type film fan. All right, the final speaker in this new series is the R8 Meta. The original R8 has been a super popular problem solver in the original R line as it allows you to get into Dolby Atmos a couple of ways that keep you from having to cut holes in your actual ceiling. If you have a flat and reflective ceiling between 8 and 12 feet in height, you can actually place these on top of your front speakers and their angled cabinet will bounce the height effects off the ceiling and right back down to you. Now this is the very easy method, but another way which we actually prefer is to mount them above the front speakers and rears if you have them at close to your ceiling height on the wall. The incredibly wide dispersion that you'll get with the UniQ will cover your entire listening area in great Atmos effects. All right, that concludes our overview of the new Kef R Meta series. 
These new models represent a big jump up in performance over the already great original R series. Now they're certainly going to pose some tough competition as these beautiful and well-made speakers have the sound that has made Kef famous for less than you might think. If you have further questions, please reach out to our team at audioadvice.com and we'd be happy to help you out. If you like this video, please consider giving it a like and consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any new product releases, home theater tours, and more in-depth reviews just like this one. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.